Hello, my name is George Bayless. I've already inspected from disorder, but we're not here to talk about me. Instead, I want to find out what it's like for other people with a condition. Before I get to that, what is autism? Well, autism is a lifelong developmental disability that affects how people like me communicate, see, and interact with the world around us. There is a reason it is called a spectrum, as there are no two people with autism that are the same. This means that some people with autism may need little to no support, whereas others may require a full-time carer. Now, it's estimated that there are around 700,000 autistic people in the UK alone. That's around one in 10 people. I'm here today to speak to one of them, to see what it's like for them living with autism, and see if they can shine a light on their personal experience. First of all, what in your opinion is a definition of autism? So, you can't use the word autism to define everybody, as everybody who is on the autis autistic spectrum is completely different. Um, however, the general aspect of it is someone who isn't neurotypical, who thinks differently, and it may take them slightly longer to adjust to certain circumstances. What challenges do you face as someone with autism? My personal challenges as someone with autism mainly are sensory, so I struggle a lot with certain lights, sounds, overwhelming sounds, many sounds at the same time, textures even, like certain foods I struggle with, and lights, any kind of lights maybe, even daylight, sunlight sometimes as well. What stigmas or stereotypes do you face as someone with autism? So when I tell people that I'm autistic, the first thing that they say to me is, you don't look autistic. And that's really one of the big stigmas. People think that people with autism, you know, they can't look at people in the eye, that they can't talk even, that they constantly flap their hands and just aren't functional. And it's just so not true. You're a farming arts student. So how do you find that your autism affects you as a performer? So my autism affects me as a performer with learning lines, um, adapting to classroom environments, working with people, and just quite a lot of it actually. But I enjoy it so much that I don't really think about it. I mean, I struggle learning lines because my autism does affect my memory. I also struggle sometimes to work with people as that's one of the issues that many people on the autistic spectrum struggle with and I constantly have to think about you know oh am I saying something wrong or just things like that that I really shouldn't be worrying about but because I have that diagnosis of autism I constantly think about. Like I said you're an autistic student so do you think the education system needs to be more inclusive and supportive for people with autism? Um, yes and also no the education system has come a long way um, helping people with autism but at the same time, it's still pretty much outdated. Because people still have those stigmas about people with autism, it also comes out in the education system. If the, edu if the education system still thinks that someone with autism can't talk, you know, this, it has to be changed. They also have been informed that teachers take like a one hour autism course online to sort of try and like learn about it and I'm thinking why don't you get someone with autism to come in and do a workshop with the teachers make them put them in like situations that would make autistic people feel stressful and make them feel just as stressed as we do that's how I think people should be trained and that's how I think the education system would definitely change what benefits do you think your autism gives you my autism gives me quite a few benefits actually um, I can play the piano I can't read music, I just hear it and I can play it and it's a beautiful gift and I can also sing very well and that's a gift for my autism and it's incredible. I also don't see people by race, I just see them by a person and who they are and I think in today's society that's possibly one of the biggest gifts ever. Also my autism allows me to think differently and have different ideas which in a performing arts um, Place. It just it really it really helps because when people are trying to give ideas for blocking and stuff like that, they're all pretty much the same. But then I'll give a different idea that nobody's thought about before, and that will be really fun. What techniques and strategies have you come up with to cope with your autism in daily life? When I was younger, I used to struggle with being in a busy crowd, and the way that I overcame this was actually by immersing myself in it. 
by <laughs> putting, me, putting myself in situations where there were a lot of people. And I find really that for me personally, it's the only way to desensitize myself, is to immerse myself in it. Also, I struggle with lights and stuff like that. So I would immerse myself in it. So for example, the other uh, last year I did the Panto and that had like crazy lights and I just got used to it because you have to. Life isn't gonna adapt for you. You have to adapt to life. Like I said, you're a student and you're going into your second year next year. So what are your goals for the future? So my goals for the future are to just go to a drama school, so that's university. In order to do that I would have to do an audition and that itself is quite challenging. I suppose well, that leads me on to saying how do you think your autism will affect them goals for the future? My autism will definitely affect me but it's something that I'm just going to have to learn to live with really. It will affect me um, to adapt to this new situation. It will affect me in the audition as it's a new place with new people. It, it was just going to affect me all around really, but I just have to ignore it to be honest and just push on because otherwise I'll get stuck and I won't move from there. Now that I've heard of someone with autism, I want to look at a different angle. So I decided to speak to someone who, in their role as an educational support worker, supports autistic students including Sophia and myself on a daily basis. So let's see what they have to say about living with autism. What in your opinion is autism? In my opinion autism is a neurodiverse way of thinking. When did you first experience autism and what was it like? So I was a child um, and it was um, my mum's friend's son at church and um, unfortunately he was quite aggressive with his autism and so it scared me a little bit and that made me think oh well everybody with autism must be like that. Um, so, so it was un an unfortunate experience at the time. Has that viewpoint now changed? Definitely. As I've got older and now I work um, with students with autism, I definitely can see that everybody with autism is different um, and whilst there is some aggression, there are strategies you can put in place to ensure that anxiety comes down and that they are working in a way that suits them. What are the challenges you think autistic people face? So definitely one of the main challenges is that they struggle to fit into society or the norm we might say and um, and I think there's a lot of prejudice for people with autism unfortunately even now today um, and it's about breaking down those barriers for those people also um, I think they it's hard sometimes to know socially and to get on with people socially and um, know if they've for example, if something they've said has offended somebody and knowing the difference between the emotions and I think that is definitely a challenge for people with autism. What challenges do you think autistic students face in the education setting? So in education, similarly fitting in, especially with peers, peer pressure is a big thing um, at that age group from school and college, um, but also getting the right access to uh, support that they need sometimes because like I say sometimes uh, autistic people are tarnished with the same brush and they some people think oh everyone with autism is the same and that's very untrue so um, it's getting the right support that they need as well and sometimes busy crowds so college where I work there's you know over 4,000 students and that is really daunting for anybody let alone somebody with autism and so having the ability and the confidence to be able to walk through a busy crowd when you're changing classes or going to lunch is actually a real challenge I think. What can the education system do to be more inclusive with people with autism? So I think already they're doing a great job, um, especially like in the last 10, 20 years. I think it's a lot better than it used to be. Um, but I think there should be a lot more training on autism, not just for support workers. I think there should be a lot more training for um, all teachers 
cleaners, anybody that works within education or even within a diverse setting alone, people should be getting autism training. Definitely it should be mandatory in my opinion so that everybody has an awareness that um, they they have some people have those traits some people the autism spectrum is wide so some people you might not even notice but actually to have that training will further enhance and develop the education system do you think that need for training also can extend to other disabilities as well definitely yeah so I think, for example, uh, sign language training should be mandatory. I think it's great that they offer those courses for people that want to do them. And, you know, uh, if we all had the time, we'd want to do every sort of training. But I think, um, you know, sign language is becoming a universal language. That should be mandatory as well. There should be lots more um, inclusive training for those with um, learning needs and disabilities, definitely. Does your approach to supporting people with autism change from person to person or is a more tailored approach needed? Yeah, absolutely, because like I say, no one person with autism is the same, everybody is different, um, so yeah, it, I definitely have a tailored approach to different students. What do you find helps people with autism to learn and how do you approach supporting someone with autism? So again, it depends on the person uh, as a whole and often I found giving one instruction at a time is really important. Overloading information is far too much and that is something that needs to be avoided, especially with autistic uh, students. Really having a clear breakdown of, for example, in education for assignments, having a point by point breakdown is really important and um, also having strategies in place if things get too much so things like even just a walking around campus uh, completely coming off topic and talking about what they did at the weekend for example trying to de-stress those levels and and calm anxieties is important as well Finally, what benefits do you think autistic people bring to society? So I think they bring a lot of benefits as well. I think the neurodiverse way of thinking, it's thinking outside of the box and not necessarily thinking a way that somebody else might think and taking a different point of view, which is really good. I think as well, they are super, super organized and super intelligent more often than not and um, very good at remembering things down to the detail. So things that we might not necessarily remember on a day-to-day -day basis, that might be obscure but actually it's really important and they, they, their memories are fantastic in my opinion, so yeah. In conclusion, I found that I'm coming back to the same point, which is that every person with autism is different. There is not one mould you can fit people into, but instead it spans a broad spectrum. I've discovered that to live with autism or to help people with autism that you have to embrace it, not fear it, make it a daily part of life, like brushing your teeth or going to the loo. And that you can still can be yourself and live life you want to, but it might take you a bit longer or you might need a little help from people around you. To get there and succeed.